Who's ready? It's time. Uh, I am extremely excited for the upcoming set, the box that you see right in front of you here. All right, this is a new block of Pokemon, baby. All right, it's the Scarlet and Violet block. All right, and this box here is Scarlet and Violet base. This box releases March 31st, but we get the opportunity here to open up this beautiful box, enjoy all 36 packs within, as well as check out some of the new features of packs nowadays. You'll see exactly what I mean. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. First off, gotta love the pack arts, right? I like this starter one. The starter one looks cool, yeah? <clears throat> and then, of course, the Gyarados, right? They just threw in the terrestrialized Gyarados in there, but the starter pack actually looks quite nice. I really like that. All right, let's go. And like I said, every pack has hits, uh, guaranteed. So you're always gonna get this cold card nowadays. And again, no more yellow border. No more pack trick. So you can see here, it's got this more grayish silver border here definitely reminds me of um the world's decks you know every single year they take the decks of the champions and they turn those into uh, an actual deck or product you can buy they have a similar border uh, on those world decks as well so it looks kind of interesting right we'll go through some of the cards here and obviously these are the newer pokemon right i played a little bit of scarlet violet but not enough to be as familiar with all these new gen 9 pokemon in here youngster here's our reverse yeah so this is the first one here all right, so it looks like still got that silver border. This is what the reverse hollow pattern is. This is the Growlithe reverse. And like I said, you can get one more reverse or a hit. Another we got another reverse, which is a Dedenne here. Yeah, and then we get our hit, which is a guaranteed hollow in every pack. It is an Annihilate, all right? Hollow, all right? Followed by the basic energy, all right? You can see, take a look at the hollow pattern here. See how the card looks. So it looks like the hollow kind of extends out. So it looks like maybe they have the hollow layer on top of the whole card and they just put this layer on top of it because it really it really looks like it shines right? it's the same hollow right on the edge and on the actual card there but every single pack will have a hollow now and then of course our energy this is how the energies are going to look now also with that silver border all right and then we got the cold cards there can you guys believe that we are almost up to a thousand pokemon already huh? with this gen 9 i mean i'm sure in the next year or so we'll be uh hitting that 1000 mark oh we already passed a thousand oh really Oh, I didn't know that. I guess I guess I'm a little I'm a I'm a boomer. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a little late on that news. What was uh what was the what was the Pokemon that was number one thousand? Or we don't know yet. There is a thousand, but we don't do we know yet or we don't. I didn't know that there was already one thousand released Pokemon that got released. Oh, we got a Meridon EX. Like I said, new rarity, double star, and these are double gold stars. Beautiful Meridon EX. Okay, Photon Blast. Okay, these are kind of nice, man. These are kind of nice, man. These are kind of nice, man. The hollow and the texture. Kind of nice, man. Kind of nice, man. And again, you can get double hits. Like right there. Great Tusk EX. Right, got that sparkly pattern, right? Yep. This is a sparkly pattern that we've noticed on the cards. Right, in Japanese as well. So interesting to see that we get those patterns in English. Very nice. Come on. Let me see some crazier hits. Let me see a gold. Oh, we'll take an AR. Art rare. Right? So this is actually considered a secret rare as well. So it looks like the art rares from Japanese are considered secret rares. So like I said, there's quite a bit more secret rares, but you're going to get uh, quite a bit, quite a few secret rares in the set. wonder why they did that. It's kind of interesting, right? This is cool artwork. We got the Tarantula uh, with the, uh, the Scyther above. Very cute artwork there. <laughs> then just a regular hollow. Another interesting thing is instead of having a set logo, they now have the set uh, number, I guess you can say. So you can see SV1EN, right? Scarlet, Violet, 1, English. That's, that's something that the Japanese side has been doing for a while. Uh, but English used to just have symbols. So changing it now to these numbers, I'm interested. All right, let me know your thoughts, right? Out of all these new changes, I'm curious on some of your thoughts. All right, let me know what you guys think. If you like it, you dislike it. Team Stargrunt, Full Art Trainer. Okay. Right, and as you can see, this is a double star, and I believe this is silver, right? So there's black stars, there's silver stars, and there's gold stars. Single stars, double stars, and there's even triple stars, right? A variety of different rarities now. And I guess it's slightly less feels bad, because every pack you open has a guaranteed hollow. 
but I'm a triple star? Okay, come on now. <laughs> You're just saying that to butter me up. Uh, you trying to get some free packs? <laughs> Give me your address. I'll, I'll send you some in a little bit. Here we go. Sand dial. Oink! Cologne! EX! Look at, this look at this texture here. Look at the stars, baby. <clears throat> Oink! Cologne! So many hollows and reverses, huh? You're gonna end up getting like what 70 reverses right 60 or 70 reverses and like what like 20 something hollows maybe more Another one great It's the same You can get the same EX in the same box Okay, I, I guess that does happen. Actually, no, we've seen that before. We've seen we've seen the same V's or the same V maxes in the same box before. It doesn't happen very often though. So is this something that's gonna happen often in this set? I don't know. Or maybe we got unluckily lucky. I don't know. I would rather have a different EX, but okay. Two great tusk EX, I guess. I want something. Uh, I want something from the uh, the second the second spot. Yeah, the second spot that there's a reverse. I want something. Cause I feel like anything that comes out of there that's not a reverse will be pretty good. That's what we got the meat eyed on. So maybe we'll get something again there. Right, I was talking. Right as I was saying it, we got another beautiful art rare, and you can tell the artist instantly. Komia artwork, one of my favorite artists of all time. Beautiful Komia Drowsy. All right, secret rare. It's an art rare. Secret rare. We call them art rares because uh, I think in the Japanese sets they're they're just ARs in there. All right, you get a couple per box. I think like three per Japanese box. So we got four secret rares technically from this box so far. Let's see how many more we get. Oh, I see something. It's a gold card. Oh yeah, gold cards used to come in the last slot, main slot. It looks like with three slots, the gold card comes in the second slot now. After the first reverse. Nest ball. Okay. Definitely a cool looking gold card here. Hey, you know what's interesting as well? I don't know if it's just this print run, but it looks like the amount of texture that we are used to from Sword and Shield, it's a little bit less. Right? It's a big story. Look at that texture there. It's a little bit less. A lot of the times the gold cards and the texture cards have a lot of texture on it. It's a little bit less. This makes me feel like the it makes me feel that it's on the level of gold cards from like Sun and Moon, right? Sun and Moon didn't have as, as much texture texture, I feel, right, for the gold cards. This is like an in-between amount of texture and gold. Look at that sparkle there. Nice. Oh, here's our triple star. All right, I told you that there was triple star. This is triple gold star. Triple gold star, nice. Clef key as well. <clears throat> Quite a cute Pokemon. Gyarados EX, nice, beautiful, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Now something interesting is that it looks like this is also a double star, double black star, but look at the texture. It has those little tiny like sparkly bee looking texture, but I've noticed that they've been doing that more, having this kind of crazy texture for any Pokemon that's terrestrialized. So that's something of interest because some of the regular EXs, as you can see, have that sparkly pattern. You see that? That sparkly hollow pattern. And then for terrestrialized Pokemon and some other ones, they have these more sparkly patterns. So they're both EXs, all right? They're both, uh, they're both double Black Star EXs, but different textures within that same rarity, I feel, which is interesting, right? Very interesting. And again, it's not a secret rare, right? It's number 45 out of 198, so it's not a secret rare or anything, but they've done a different style of texture for those cards too. Interesting. All right, we got a couple of packs left. How many more hits can we get? Apparently more. Oink Cologne. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> Oink Cologne, EX, full art. And again, right, taking a look at the card here, you can really see the texture like Japanese and it's not overly textured. A lot of the cards in Sword and Shield have been a lot more overly textured. It looks like they they, they eased it back on the amount of texture, amount of the, the card is raised, which is kind of nice. Cool. I think this might be pretty good in terms of hit rates. If this is the average. Right, if this is the average. Spidops. Yeah, or Spidops. Spidops EX. Again, we got that star pattern here. Double black star EX. So this is going to be our fifth EX. One Gyarados. 
four of the regular EXs, and this is the Terrastalize EX. All right, let's take a look at the EXs here. We got two Secret Rare ARs, the Tarantula and the Drowsy. We got four regular EXs and one Terrastalize one, so a total of five EXs. These are not Secret Rares, just main in the set. Getting a dupe great Tusk there. And then after that, for the high hits, we ended up getting a Full Art Pokemon. All right, Oink Alone, the Full Art Trainer, Team Stargrunt, a Gold, and a Mediodon EX. So pretty good. Six Secret Rares in a box, and a nice variety too, so... If this is the average, like I said, I think it'll be quite nice. All right, let me know your thoughts. Very curious to see what you guys think as well. But I think this set is going to be the start of a beautiful era of Pokemon. I don't know how P Pokemon continues to <laughs> release more Pokemon and more Pokemon cards and artworks and styles that we crave and enjoy collecting. But uh, yeah, very curious to see how this uh, this block goes and how Scarlet and Violet will continue to uh, move on from this base set here. This is going to be nuts, man. Absolutely nuts.